mistakes because Meet Your Makers have got so many tools to engage in them. You're about to see those team comps. Let's see how much Fnatic have learned since their loss last week. You got Rope setting themselves up for a potential dive, but Yellow Stars had decent vision. Who needs decided to stick around? This is going to not work out for him. There's four members of Meet Your Makers. Who has been caught? The shield comes out. Damage onto Nisbet. One more turret shot. He's going to go down. Who makes it work? He is still alive. They've managed to trade two for one. Mr. Oz forced a flash. And CS to the 28 of Huni. Look at Horo on the bottom lane. This is round two. The tower is up and alive. Knockup doesn't connect. Nisbet tanks one more hit before backing away. Huni manages to survive. Why does no fight? As does Nisbet. Nisbet's still alive. The spell shield is there. Huni goes in. Flame Spinner gets him one. That is a Huni part if ever I've seen one. Horo manages to connect. There's Mint of Danger. And now Fnatic. Are they considering the dragon? No. Here comes a thrill of the hunt. Oro is in trouble. Level six, he's rooted. Right of the arcane comes down. One, two, three, not even. Oh, they may set their sights on Corey. Equalizer's available. Let's see what he does. Slow comes out. Dragon secured. Teleport, Teleport from instantly from Mima. We see the accelerated shock blast coming out, and Corey's in trouble. Mima flashes forward. Frozen tomb locks him down. Stun from Flippivan does not connect. Huni still in full retreat as the equalizer forces MYM to back away. Huni goes 4-0. <laughs> he just doesn't want to die. And the rest of Fnatic here to push in and land some fantastic poke. Let's see if MYM can actually look for a fight. Oh, or is it right now going Cat in? is hungry. He hops over the wall. Right of the Arcane goes out. Third shot doesn't connect, but the Equalizer does. Now Corey's the focus. The rest of Fnatic are in range to put the damage down. Mr. Isles, Corey, Horo, full retreat. No one goes down, but where are the minions? Can Fnatic right get there. the tower? I think they can. There's a lot of damage to come out. This time around, I mean, look at the vision on the map here. Pink wards, green wards, everything. There's a free Baron. Nothing MYM can do to stop it. They should actually go Dragon now and try to just... Nah, it's risky, but they could have tried to stay at the Dragon, kill it as soon as it spawns and then recall. But then again, you would actually lose your tower here. Yeah. Oh, Mima gets silenced. This Fnatic yeah. take allow Fnatic to use all of that damage to their favor. Tower secured. On the hunt comes down from Mr. Ross. Decent damage on Fnatic. They are going to get one. Huni is now out. Very good engage with the Frozen Tomb from Mima. And Corey's got a double. It's replied with steel back. Boomerang goes out a two for one. Meet your makers get the kills, but they may not be able to defend this objective. They've used all of their abilities. Corey, can he get some poke down? He does. Mercury Hammer does. Also have to worry about the Nexus here. Super Minions already pushing onto it, trying to take down a tower. While Fnatic might be caught out. So Rainover is only the first one. Focus down from Meet Your Makers. The Nexus is being hammered on in the backline. Horo will get dropped as Fnatic continue to put the damage down. Teleports from both top laners. You know, on the inhibitor they managed to come out ahead, two for one. They did trade one for one. Horo has been caught out. Yellow Star's gonna knock him up, the flag, the drag, Nisbet jumps in, Rainover lands the baller, Horo is down! Double kill for Rainover as he just flies through the air. Mima, Glacial Path, big play waiting to happen. Thrill of the Hunt is out, there goes Rengar, he's jumped on Mima! Mima forced a Frozen Tomb, Equalizer comes out and Mima is down! We do see the baller strike go out, but Corey, they will be able to get it. Leading into that gank, Febevin had the license to kill. Zero kills, zero deaths, seven assists. Now he's on the board at 107. Fnatic realized no one's coming to contest. Mr. Oz down in the pool. Every time Reyno would lock down a target, Pippen was there to assist him. And now pushing on to this turret here. Mid inhibitor, it's already gone. Fnatic taking it very low. Equalizer's available. TP behind now. Coming it's going to be the Zenith Blade does not connect. Solar Flare catches Rainover. Mima's looking for a target. Forced to self-cast to stay alive. Boss Bomb from Steelback is going to take Mima down as the reply is on to Yellowstar. Now Nisbet forced on the retreat. Steelback is carrying for the team from the back line. Fnatic have got three despite losing two. And with the empowered minions, they're going to get a second inhibitor. They have super minions on the Nexus as well here. Rallis is trying to defend it. Fnatic going to win the game yet. Well, let's see what Corey can do. He's flashed for this one. He's going to get the shock blast out. Swatch to Mercury Hammer if he wants to decide. Right, instead of saying, okay, abort, we can still back out here before anything happens. That's really what's set in behind him. Rainover. <laughs> Rainover the jumps tower. onto the Everybody tower. Died. Gets the damage out. Equalizer is out on the back line. Everybody going low. Uh, we see the hourglass pop from Huni. Rainover is dropped. Meet your makers holding on. Super Minions pushing in. 
That little engage not working out in favor of Fnatic. However, Febivin's going to even it up one for one. Top laner down from Meet Your Makers, despite the heavy engage. And a small glimmer of hope from Meet Your Makers, but it's just too little. We do see Mr. Rolls putting damage down. They've caught Febivin. He's forced to Hourglass. Steelback untouched with so much damage. There's Super Minions on the Nexus Toad. Steelback is going to Valkyrie away. Now the Interpretator is being focused down. Corey gets hit. Fast Bomb chunks him out. Huni teleports. The Triple fight's kill. been so long that he's come back from the pit. And we do see an inhibitor taking out Super Minions on the Nexus turrets. That's going to be the win for Fnatic. Once again, a very, very dominant performance here from Fnatic. Taking another win. SK Gaming is not secured number one yet. 7 0 4 from Steelback. Huni 5 3 and 8. And Fnatic never looked challenged. Massive smiles on the faces of everybody. All the fair bit. Pretty, pretty focused look there as he steps up. And it's 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 difficult to fold the performance. Again, oh yeah. They punish the dive, and then again push the objectives and move around the map very really effectively. Punish the dive. Go back to top lane as well. Make sure that Mimer lost at least some of the wave up there. We saw Rainover come up, and then after the lane swap, again, being in favor of, of Fnatic, they just managed to get all these picks going. You see the roaming again from Yellowstar joining in for the early fights. MOM tried to make some plays, which is better than what we have seen beforehand, where they would sit back and be very afraid to do anything. Here they're actually trying. Or Fnatic had just read them like a book, were able to respond every single time, get a massive goal lead, and obviously also be able to use that mid-game spike on a Zerif and a Corki to siege down these turrets. Yeah, and despite being 10, 12,000 gold down, the fights were not as convincing as Fnatic may have wanted. There was a lot of CC and a lot of damage that Meteor Makers were putting down. Corey ended that game 4-1-2. and two. His Jace, Acceleration Blast, Shock Blast, Poke was on point. It hit the target. Sure. But unfortunately, you know, everybody else fell too far behind. It's, it, it just it didn't work out. Uh, there are too many key items MOM were missing for most of the fights because they fell so far behind. The locket came in for the last team fight. Our last was completed as well in the last team fight. We saw where MO MOM actually picked up a few kills. But then because Super Minions were pushing in, they had to go back and it was a bit of a split up and suddenly Fnatic could clean up kills. Triple kill for Steelback in that fight as well. But these key items... I mean, it is in that situation where if you are playing Lissandra and you know that Outlast is so important for you to win team fights, and you are being staffed from gold, that's why, you, honestly, you have to try and change up your build. Go for that Codex into cooldown reduction boots, get the 30% cooldown reduction. That way through, obviously, the Masteries as well. And then just go straight Outlast. Try and get it for these mid-game fights. If it doesn't work for...